Have you ever noticed something peculiar when tracking international flights? That journey from Los Angeles to Tokyo does uncut straight across the Pacific Ocean, as you might expect. Instead, it makes a surprising detour far north, passing over Alaska and the frigid Bering Sea. This seemingly inefficient route has puzzled travelers for decades, leading many to wonder, why would airlines waste precious fuel taking the scenic route? The answer lies not in fuel conservation concerns or pilot preferences, but in something far more fundamental, the very shape of our planet. What appears as a curious detour on your flat map is actually the shortest possible path between these distant cities. This counterintuitive reality challenges our perception and reveals how easily our understanding of geography can be distorted. When we translate our three-dimensional world onto two-dimensional surfaces, the flat map illusion. When we look at a standard world map, we're seeing a compromised representation of reality. Yes. Flat projections inevitably distort the true spatial relationships between locations, particularly when dealing with long distances. What appears as a straight line on these maps often represents a significantly longer route in reality. The classic Mercator projection, while useful for navigation, dramatically exaggerates the size of regions near the poles, while keeping shapes relatively accurate. This distortion creates a persistent misconception about the most efficient flight paths. The curved routes that airlines follow, known as Great Circle routes, represent the shortest possible path between two points on a sphere. Think of it like stretching a string between two points on a globe, the string woe and follow lines of latitude or longitude, but will trace a unique arc that minimizes the total distance. This principle has guided maritime navigation for centuries and remains equally relevant in modern aviation. Earth's imperfect shape. Our planet adds another layer of complexity to flight path calculations. Earth isn't a perfect sphere. Due to its rotation, our world bulges slightly at the equator, creating what scientists call an ablate spheroid. The equatorial circumference measures approximately 24,900 miles, while the polar circumference is about 24,860 miles, a difference of 40 miles that significantly impacts long-distance travel planning. This equatorial bulge means that flying over polar regions often provides an even shorter route than a perfect great circle would suggest. The effect is particularly pronounced for flights between major northern hemisphere cities like New York and Hong Kong or London and Tokyo. Airlines meticulously calculate these routes to minimize fuel consumption and flight time, saving passengers hours and reducing operational costs by thousands of dollars per flight. What seems like an inefficient detour on your flat map is actually a carefully optimized trajectory. Riding the wind highways beyond Earth's shape Another invisible factor dramatically influences flight paths, the jet streams. These powerful high altitude air currents flow primarily from west to east at speeds ranging from 80 to over 200 miles per hour. Located near the tropopause, about four to 12 miles above Earth's surface, these natural wind highways can either significantly boost or hinder. An aircraft is progress depending on the direction of travel. Flight planners carefully incorporate jet stream patterns into their calculations, often routing eastbound flights to capitalize on these tailwinds, while westbound flights may take more. Polar routes to avoid flying directly against these powerful currents. The time savings can be substantial. An eastbound transatlantic flight might arrive nearly two hours earlier than its westbound counterpart on the same aircraft. This strategic routing not only reduces flight time but also decreases fuel consumption benefiting both passengers and airlines while reducing environmental impact, safety considerations, and weather navigation. While efficiency drives most routing decisions, safety considerations also play a crucial role in flight planning. Extended operations over remote ocean areas require additional planning and equipment under ETOPs. Right. These rules ensure aircraft remain within acceptable distances of suitable emergency landing sites, influencing how far from land planes are permitted to venture. Weather patterns further complicate the equation, as aircraft must navigate around severe storms that can extend well above normal cruising altitudes. While modern planes can withstand incredible turbulence, pilots prefer to avoid it whenever possible for passenger comfort and safety. Clear air turbulence, particularly common near jet streams, presents special challenges as it cannot be detected visually or by radar. 
This invisible hazard underscores why passengers should keep their seatbelts fastened throughout the flight. Even when the seatbelt sign is off, unexpected turbulence can occur with little warning. The global perspective understanding flight paths offers us more than practical knowledge about air travel. It provides a profound reminder of our planet's true nature. The routes that seem inefficient on our flat maps are actually brilliant adaptations to the reality of our curved, rotating world. This perspective challenges us to question other ways our mental models might diverge from physical reality, encouraging a more nuanced understanding of our three-dimensional home. Next time you track a long-distance flight and notice that curious northern detour, you'll recognize the elegant solution it represents. The mathematics of great circles, Earth's unique shape, and the strategic use of atmospheric phenomena all combine to create the most efficient journey possible. If you found this exploration of flight paths fascinating, be sure to subscribe to Minecrafted for more insights that challenge conventional thinking. Like and share this video and let us know in the comments. What other everyday phenomena hide surprising scientific explanations that you'd like us to explore?